Building PCs can be so much fun and today I'm back with another video and this one is going to be awesome. Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. As you might have already seen the video's title guys, today we will be building a PC build but this is not the usual stuff that I mostly do on my channel guys. It's mainly made for like professional work purpose. Thing is a lot of you people only were asking in my recent videos like, hey Vimal, can you do like a PC build made specially for like creativity or for professional work sort of use and that is what I'll be doing today exactly in this video and let me tell you this PC what we'll be building in the video right it will be like a perfect for your work setup guys so before you actually get started with the components and you know the whole theme of this build uh, I'd like to thank Asus for sponsoring this video and making this build happen anyways let's first start with the components part now guys whenever you're building a PC right and when you're planning this for like work purpose now especially like maybe video editing or maybe some creativity or design designer purpose now make sure to invest more amount in the CPU rather than the GPU guys get something from AMD's Ryzen 5000 series like maybe a Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 depending on your budget the CPU that we'll be using today is like a perfect balanced CPU guys like an all-rounder CPU for both gaming purpose and also like workflow purpose and we're using Ryzen 7 5800X now this is their all new 5000 series CPU and comes with like 8 cores 16 threads max boost to clock of up to 4.7 gigahertz ideal CPU for work purpose. Now, if you have more budget, you can also go for Ryzen 9 well and good, Ryzen 9 5900 or maybe 5950X, that would be awesome. But right now we are thinking something like a balanced PC, right? So this works for now. Now coming to the GPU, I am pairing this Ryzen 7 with an RTX 3070 GPU, comes with 8 GB uh, VRAM and also is like the OC edition from Asus guys, the tough edition GPU. Now let me tell you, in case if you plan on not doing any sort of gaming on this build, you actually don't need a 3070 for work purpose. You can actually go for something like 3060 or even 20 series would also get your job done. You can save money over there and spend the invest that same thing on a CPU guys. Instead of Ryzen 7, get Ryzen 9 5900 or maybe 5950X. That will greatly boost your performance guys. So that is what I can say. Right now I'm using 3070 because as I've told you, this is like an all-rounder PC build. So you can do like anything great for work purpose, great for gaming also, 1440p to aram se you can play on it and any task it can handle guys. So that was about the GPU. Now coming to the motherboard. Motherboard is also special guys. We are using Asus's brand new ProArt B550 Creator Series motherboard. Now this motherboard was specially made for creators only, you know, like designers, artists, and you know, professional work kind of stuff. And let me tell you, this motherboard actually features some exclusive features not available on the regular motherboards. This is the first AMD motherboard to actually feature two Thunderbolt 4.0 ports on it guys. Thunderbolt 4.0 offer like crazy fast transfer speeds of up to 40 Gbps guys and that too you are having two ports on it very useful for creators if you want to you know transfer 4k videos or maybe like high capacity files between computers this is very useful and on top of that they also double up like display ports you can even connect external displays two 4k monitors at the same time or one 8k monitor also and apart from that if you talk about the connectivity well I've told you right it's like full PCI Gen 4 support is also there and also has a dedicated PCI Gen 4 m.2 connector on board as well and yes you do have like double 2.5g LAN ports available and stuff like that very good motherboard for creators guys so this is what we'll be using in today's build now moving on guys for the ram also ram also is something special now this is something from astra it's their brand new gandiva ram guys and the main reason i wanted to use this particular ram is see it's a made in india ram guys completely designed and assembled in india so i wanted to give that a try it's a brand new model so I'm using like a 16 GB kit, 2 into 8 GB clocked at 4,266 megahertz, like really high clock speeds and pricing details and all that now of all these components I'll be sharing at the end of this video. So make sure you watch it till the end. Now for the cooling section now, for this powerful CPU, maybe Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9, I would advise you to go with something like a 280 or 360mm AIOS, guys. And the one I'm using is from Deepcool. It's their Castle 360EX AIO RGB cooler and offers like very good performance. 
and lastly coming to the power supply for this sort of setup 850 watt power supply is like plenty guys gets your job done now this is also from asus rog they strix 850 watt gold rated power supply fully modular and lastly coming to the case well this one is from corsair i'm using their black edition 4000 x series case comes with like triple rgb fans tempered glass panels also and it's a beautiful case so that is pretty much it guys these are all the components that i'll be using for today's professional work pc build so without wasting any more time let's get started Finally done with the build guys looks awesome, right? All the cabling is also done cable management on point uh, The only thing left to do is just power it on and show you how this bad boy looks like my god what a beautiful looking pc just look at those scandalous good rgb components i don't know about you guys but building a pc in 2021 without rgb i wouldn't call it a pc at all because see after spending so much of your money on it and if it doesn't look good at the end then what's the point wow beautiful i can keep on staring at this pc all day long just sit back relax and enjoy these shots Okay guys, let me quickly summarize the component prices for you because I know you people are quite curious. AMD's Ryzen 7 5800X CPU costs around 35,990 rupees. The ProArt B550 Creator motherboard from Asus costs 22,500. The Tough Edition RTX 3070 OC model is priced somewhere around 95,000 rupees currently. Talking about the AIO, Deepcool's Castle 360 EX RGB is available for 10,000. Astra's Gandiva RGB 16 GB RAM kit costs around 16,000 rupees. And coming to the power supply, the Strix 850 Gold is priced at 16,000. And for the storage section, guys, just get something like a 2 TB PCI Gen 3 SSD, and that'll cost you around like 25,000 rupees. Last on the list, the Corsair 4000X RGB PC case is available for 10,000 rupees. So the total budget of the build comes down to 2,33,490 rupees. And as I've told you at the beginning, if you want to go with the Ryzen 9 setup, then the price changes are as follows. 
Well, that's it for today, guys. That was my video on this awesome Ryzen-based productivity PC build. It's literally a monster in terms of performance. Now, I'm not including any benchmarks in this video, and the reason for that is we've already done like similar configurations plenty of times on our channel, guys. You can actually check out to my previous videos for the results. I'll leave a link to those videos in the card above. You can refer to them for the benchmarks. Now, if you still insist and want me to make a part two of this video with the benchmarks, let me know like what sort of stuff do you want me to test on this PC? Like it's a productivity build, right? Do you want me to do some video rendering test or maybe like a video export test? Or maybe do you guys want to see some sort of timeline workflow in the Premiere Pro? Just let me know in the comment section down below. Apart from that, if you want to see the regular gameplays now, just check out my previous videos. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and got to check out this awesome build. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.